Hey everyone, I'm Tiffany. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is my daughter River, who's about to be three months, and I do have a two-year-old son um, named Wilder. Today we will be reviewing the Cybex Gazelle S. Uh, full disclosure, I did have the Upper Baby Vista V2 before this, and so I will be making comparisons throughout my video. Um, I did want to start just by saying um, what I was looking for in a new stroller um, and basically what I didn't like about the Upper Baby Vista. So the Upper Baby Vista for me, I didn't like that the rumble seat, um, which is the second seat, only goes up to 35 pounds because obviously I have a two-year-old who was about 32 pounds when we got pregnant with our second and was quickly not gonna fit into that rumble seat. And so it was gonna be having to sit at the top of the stroller with the baby at the bottom of the stroller and I didn't really like that setup. Um, the second thing was the adapters. I found it like pretty cumbersome to have to remember the adapters and if not, they had to be on the stroller which made it a little bit bulkier. Um, and the thing that annoyed me the most was folding and unfolding the stroller. To me, it was such a hassle to have to pull off each seat um, and then fold the stroller. For some reason, the stroller was always pinching me. I never felt like it could be like freestanding, which is what they say it can be. It, it had to be like in the perfect position to be freestanding. Um, and then basically having to pull each seat off, find a place to put it, which was usually the floor, fold that stroller, put the base in the car and then put the the seats on top. It just felt like the biggest to do and I needed something that was an easy fold. Um, I'm 5'1", so I just, I felt like it was always just such a huge hassle. I read a bunch of reviews. I basically, I, I really did my homework when deciding what our next stroller would be. Okay, so the three things that I needed in a new stroller were one i needed it to be compatible with our new car seat because like i said we sold the upper baby vista v2 and with that we also sold the upper baby mesa and we ended up getting the nuna pippa which i absolutely love but i needed a stroller that i could easily clip that car seat into two i needed it to fold easily like oh i i can't tell you i feel like i have ptsd from folding the upper baby vista um, so with this stroller, I needed it to be able to either fold as a double or just be easy to fold. I needed to not be worried about pinching my fingers when I lifted it into the car. Um, and I needed to like stand on its own while I'm opening the trunk. Just that whole process needed to be easy because obviously we spent a lot of time getting our stroller in and out of the car. Um, and the third thing that I needed and one of the most important um was that i needed a huge storage basket um like many of you i run errands pretty much every day love going to target doing my target runs and i did not need to worry about is my stuff going to fit inside of the storage basket because most doubles don't really have a huge storage basket so i i needed something that had a big storage basket so now you know my whys um, and what I was looking for. So I basically, you know, did a deep dive, was looking at every stroller review I can get my hands on to finally find the perfect stroller for us. And let's jump into my review. Okay, so this is with two seats facing forward. I do feel like it has a lot more room in between the seats than the Upper Baby Vista. Um, with the Upper Baby Vista, I felt like one's feet were on top of the other one, basically, when they were both facing forward. Now, how I usually use the stroller um, is with one seat facing forward because my son is older and one seat facing me because my daughter is only three, she's about to be three months old. Um, I feel like the seat does have a good amount of recline for her right now. Um, and so I'm able to use it this way um, with both of them being pretty comfortable, I think. Um, one thing I don't like about this is that this will not lock in this fixed position and on the Upper Baby Vista, it did. Um, it will lock here and then you can press the button for it to go lower. 
um, and it'll lock in those positions, but it will not lock any further up than this. Um, so this is it with two seats, how I usually use it. Um, if you are only traveling with one kid, you can use it just like this. You can use it with this candy basket that I never knew I needed until now. And now I feel like it is something that is an absolute must have for me. Like I love to be able to just like throw last minute items in here, like a fan for the kids or something like that. If we're going outside um, and just being able to pop it on the stroller. And even if I have both seats on the stroller and I can't pop it into the stroller, I usually just put it on the bottom because um, there's just so much room. Um, but yeah, so then you, if you have like one older child or a smaller child um, and you're just going out with them, you have the basket and that seat and this basket just pops right out. What I normally do is I have this basket on here and then I will take my daughter in her car seat just because she, she's still pretty young um, and it's just easier for me to do that. So I just take this seat out. Let's put it down over here. Um, and it does come with adapters that are compatible with a bunch of different car seats, including the um, Nuna Pippa. And so you know, these it, this stroller has its adapters built in. So basically like the adapter, so this just comes facing downward so that it's flush with the stroller here. Um, and then you basically just press this button and there's white buttons uh, everywhere that you can basically push a button. So it's really nice. Um, so I will just put in my adapter when I have her car seat and I can just pop the car seat right in. Um, and this is how I usually run my errands. Um, so I have a lot of space on the bottom, as you can see, a ton. Um, and then I have this extra space up here. I can hang my baby bag. Um, so, I mean, pretty great. And I have no complaints so far. Um, another thing to note is that this um, handlebar does go higher up. I'm 5'1", just so you know. It's pretty high. Um, and it does go down. Um, and then the adapter can go, um, this is the first position, second position, um, and then there's a third position, which is lower. So if you have one kid um, and you just want that one seat to be centered instead of higher up, whatever you want, there's so many different um, variations here. So let's pop this car seat out of here. We'll take out these adapters. So let's put one chair back in. I'm gonna put it here in this middle position so that you can see what that looks like. So this is just the one in the middle position. In order to fold the stroller, pretty easy. You kind of just flip that forward. Um, you do have to press this button back here and the button in front. And there's also a little safety latch on the side. So there's a bit of a learning curve, but I feel like it's very easy once you get the hang of it. So you just push down, close the stroller, and it stands on its own, which actually you're supposed to lock it. I'll do that. Anyways, it stands on its own, which I felt like the baby Vista never did. And then to open it up it kind of has the same little latch thing right here um, as that the baby vista does open it up and bring that seat right over so i said earlier that this um, stroller will fold as a double um, and i definitely want to show you guys that so let's do that right now so let's say let's say one of them is facing me. Let me go off the stroller. All right, so one of them is facing me, and one of them is facing out. We'll fold it. So those three things I said, um, and it's folded. Obviously, you know, 
it's a little bulkier, but I think it folds amazingly, pretty much. I think that's a pretty nice fold for two chairs. Um, and you can do the same with the chairs both facing forward. Oh, and another thing to note is that in the storage basket area, there is a little chart that shows you all the different configurations that you can do with the different seats. And they do also have a bassinet and you can purchase that separately. I haven't found a need for it. I feel like my car seat does the trick. And there you have it guys, the Cybex Gazelle S. All right guys, well, if you liked my video, please hit that subscribe button and that like button below. Oh, 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 oh,